Now we're back to Pika Labs. Let me show you the motion parameter. We can use it to adjust the intensity of the animation and you edit via minus motion. Default value is one. Zero almost gives you still image. So we have only slight movement in the fur. Here's one again, which is, as I've said, the default. Motion two. Three. And the maximum value is four. Sometimes the lines are a little bit blurry, so it can happen that a value of three gives you even more motion than four, or a value of one gives you more motion than a value of two. It happens, but in general, you will have more motion the higher the value is. Let us use this image for mid journey. I create prompt plus one more, use the image, upload it. I've got nothing specific in mind, so I'll just make it smiling, fluffy monster, aspect ratio 60 by 9. And here you would add minus motion and then the value. For the first one, let us keep the default. So I cut this out and then confirm. Now we remix and I add it right here. I set it to zero. Then remix again and I make it one, two, three, and four. Now let's check our results. Here's the default. Not much movement. A little bit in the fur. Motion 2. It's almost a still image, but in the end it moves. And you can see it's even a little bit more movement than in 1. Here we have 1 again. Movement in eyes and tongue. Motion 2. Three is way more movements, and here's the final one with the max value of four. And this is how you can adjust the intensity of the animation in Pika Labs. Try it out yourself, and I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.